Hi, my name is Lisette Guerrero and today is Sunday, January 28th, 2018. And um, we are going over the synovial joints, um, kind of going off of a chicken wing. Um, so this chicken wing, as you can see, does not have the skin on it, so the muscles are exposed. Um, the purpose was to show you the joints, so you can see the cartilage. Um, so you can see some cartilage there. Um, you can see some cartilage here and then kind of can see some here in the middle um, so on the chicken wing um, obviously because we can't use a human uh, <laughs> um, we went ahead and removed the skin with the um, scissors that were in our kit so first of all I'm gonna show you the synovial joints uh, so the synovial joints, this one is um, one of the ball and socket. So usually what you, what you would see is this is the, considered the ball part of it. Um, and it's kind of like where the arm connects to the, the rest of the body of the chicken. So you would find the socket on the other side. Um, and this one would help with like rotating, um, also with the um, abduction and the adduction. Um, and then we also have the hinge joint which is found here in the middle where I showed you the cartilage and with the hinge joint this one would help with the extension and you can actually see the mus the muscles moving here and then also with the flexion so kind of like when you flex <laughs> um, and then after that we saw the condyloid uh, joint which would be located here and then in the condyloid joint um, it's where the kind of like the forearm would connect with like um, like this would be kind of like the wrist and then this would be where the hand is located in this chicken wing we can only do like extension and flexion um, but if it was a human you can probably do like you know pro, uh, sup, supine and prone position because we have that joint movement that this this one unfortunately doesn't have um, and then we couldn't uh, I I don't know if this would qualify as like a thumb because this <laughs> but if it was a thumb then you would find the saddle joint right here in the middle you know I don't think that's it but anyways um, so other locations where you can find these types of joints so this is the ball and socket so another location would be like I'm not gonna touch you know because chicken um, the ball and socket would be like this the ball would be on the hip and then the socket would be kind of like outside of your pelvis so then it goes like that and then it helps move out and well abduction adduction um and then um also um where you can find another like hinge joint like this one would probably be uh well this would be kind of like the elbow but it would also be like the knee so you can um flex and then you can um, extend um, and then so it, it was just it was pretty cool to find this it was a little bit gross um, but uh, you can actually appreciate all the movements that our body does you know and we kind of take for granted but um, yeah 